Hi, it's Sam Roberts of Roberts Pianos Houston here, and I have a Coller & Campbell SG500S Grand Piano in stock. This piano is from 1993, and I've been working on some notes on the piano, things that we can do to improve the piano. For instance, I've got touch weight here is kind of heavy. We'll look at that right now. So before we do that, let's play the piano, get an idea of the sound. It's a little touch on the bright side. But it starts around this D here. So probably just voice from there. So about that to so about that F. As you can see it comes with a player system. We we haven't yet uh, plugged that in yet and turned it on. Uh, but the solenoids and everything, we'll check that and we'll put a video of it playing itself on the channel. So the first thing I noticed to this piano is the touch weight, it's rather heavy. So this is a, this is currently 40, that's 32, 48, and this is 52. But uh, it's not coming down, so uh, it needs some weighting. And I've measured the weight across the keyboard. I've got in the very base about 67 grams about 56 in the middle and then it, go, it varies about 60 in the top in the treble so we'll have to re we we'll have to lubricate and i've already done some lubrication i'll put some shots of the work that i did which is lubricating the roller which is the very end of the touch that it was a bit abrasive so it got rid of that weight more than that you know, the hammers were a bit unplayed so the other things about this piano cosmetically is that the name on the soundboard is stripping off, so we might have to remove it. I don't think we can save it because it's half, half broken. So we'll just have to take it off and wax it um, before we continue. So that's just, and apart from that, there's just a lot of dirt, little bits of specks of dirt. We can clean all of that out with a brush and a vacuum cleaner. So that would be good. Um, apart from that, it's pretty good. It just needs a bit of buffing here and there in the cabinet. There's some light scratches from just general use um, probably has to get these gets these very fine scratches after a few years there's a little bit of scratching here that may or may not come out and uh, the left leg has a bit of paint on it which we can probably improve a bit but um, apart from that it's pretty good cosmetically and um, the tone is interesting it's quite vibrant piano I think uh, we'll just mellow out the parts that are too hard now apart from that now look on the action on the inside. No, oh, I've left everything unscrewed just so I can make it easy to um, get it open for you. Now, as you can see, there's a warning here that when you put it back in, you have to push all the keys down. I use the rail for that to push the keys back down. But here's the action. As you can see on the hammers, we always talk about the hammer wear. And in this case, they're new hammers. They've not been changed and they've not been sanded down by the looks of them and there's very light whirring and on the hammers. So that's a good sign. That means that we can, we can work with these hammers. We don't have to change them. And uh, that, that's just the original hammers. So that's good. Um, lubricated the back of the rollers. The back checks, uh, they, they're a bit soft, but they're working. So they're working fine. So they may need changing down the road, maybe 10, 15, 20 years down the road, as well as the rollers. But they're okay for now. Uh, for sure. So that would be just some reconditioning in the future. And then the uh, repetition spring is a bit weak. So this G here, it, it, it hits the string that comes back on its own. And that's meant to help you play quickly. So it will help you play again, repeat the note. It's called the repetition spring. Now that's adjusted underneath the hammer on the whipping. There's a spring underneath this, this, um, this part here of the whipping. There's a spring right underneath where my finger is and we can adjust the tension of that. Now I believe the hammers are slightly uh, lower down on because it plays itself. Uh, that's because of the solenoids, uh, something about the action being slightly different because it plays itself. So slightly lower down, I believe that's right. If not, please let me know in the comments. But, um, so we'll do the repetition springs, tighten them up, 
and then we'll tune it again because it's a little bit it hadn't been tuned for a while but it was at 441 so they tuned it above pitch which is great i just tuned it to 441. anyway this piano is available to try in our store at robert's piano houston the touch will be weight will be adjusted we'll blow the action out of the dirt the inside we'll clean it up we'll clean the outside and then we will um, do some fine adjustments and the weight especially and uh, the, the voicing thanks for watching and uh, we'll update you as soon as we can on this piano thanks for watching bye bye